There were a few people in the embassy owners and wannabes group that were interested in how the water works in an embassy RV. Mostly they were confused between the water bladder system and using city water, so I thought I'd do a little video on it. I've already done a video on how to fill up the fresh water bladder, so I won't go into detail about that here. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. Basically, you're using gravity to fill up your fresh water bladder with up to 23 gallons of water. Once this is done, you can turn on the water pump to move the water from the bladder into other parts of the RV. Remember to never run the pump without water in the fresh water bladder. The pump now pumps water to your sink and shower, as these are the only two things that need water in an embassy van. Regardless of which toilet you have in the embassy, it never uses water. If you need to make the water hot, you turn on your water heater. This uses the fuel from the van engine to heat the water, and within a few minutes, there will be hot water flowing to the sink and shower. Again, make sure there is water in the system before running heating to the water. Both the sink and shower have drains that go to the gray water bladder, which can hold up to 23 gallons. When you're ready to empty the gray water bladder, you open the valve and the water will drain out the van. The other way to use water in your embassy is to use what is called city water. This is water that is not filling up your bladder system, but instead comes already pressurized from outside sources, such as municipal water supplies. This means you don't use your embassy water pump because of the already pressurized water. The water can move to the sink and shower, similar to how the water pump for the bladder would work. Always have the gray bladder open so it doesn't overfill. Everything else is exactly the same. If you need to make the water hot, you turn on your water heater, and this uses the fuel from the van's engine to heat up the water. And within a few minutes, there's going to be hot water flowing to the sink and shower, Again, make sure there's water in the system before running heating up the water. Both the sink and the shower have the drains that go to the gray water bladder, just as always. But now, of course, you have it open, so it will drain automatically. I hope this helps explain the water systems available in the Embassy RV. And if you're interested in learning more, consider joining the Embassy Owners and Wannabes group on Facebook. The link is in the description below. Be seeing you! Mm -hmm.